Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. It is demo day on the Rob Motive channel. We're going to do a couple of mod demos, well, one mod demo, I guess, on the Toyota Tacoma. I've had a couple of requests recently, and honestly, I was a bit remiss on one of them. Uh, something I left out, I don't know why I left it out. It makes sense to me after I was asked the question, why didn't you show how this looks, how it works? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm gonna today. The first thing we're gonna get to uh, before we get to the demo for the mod that I missed on the Tacoma back here is the proper way to stow or put down the back seats and deal with the headrests. Somebody had posted up a, a comment recently saying, you should show that. And I thought, yeah, why not? There's a, a simple way to stow everything, so we're gonna do it right now. Okay, the question came up recently, or a comment, asking me, why don't you ever show the proper way to stow or put down the rear seats so that you can have more of a flat area to haul stuff? And I thought, it's not a bad idea. So, first of all, before we get started on that, one uh, quick little thing I want to show you here on the headrest, if I can remember where the button is. It's on this side, by the way, over here. If you didn't know, you can see that one's down. You just pull it up and let it fall down. That gives you more view out of the back, if you will. Now, as far as stowing everything, making it as flat as you can get it back here, you want to go ahead and pull up the bottom, like so. And when you do that, you may notice there is a couple of, uh, or are, for you grammar people out there, a couple of slots behind the seat. And there's two more on the seat over there. So, obviously, if you go to put the seat down, you're gonna have a little problem. That's not really flat, right? So, you wanna go ahead and remove the headrest. Again, just pushing in on the little things on the back. There's one on each side here. And then you want to take the headrest itself, and you'll notice, by design, it fits, and I always forget which way, it fits in these holes in the back. Just kind of slip it in there like so. Now, you could wait, probably a better idea to do it until you put this down, because now it's kind of tight, unless you have the front seat up further. I don't. So, we're going to pull that out. Now, we're going to go ahead, put the seat down. Now you've got a nice flat surface here, and then, Thanks to Toyota's ingenuity, you just stow the headrest right there. Let me show you the other side. Okay, over here on this side, we're going to go ahead and remove the headrest. On this one, there's only one little nub over here on this side. So we're going to sit this one aside until we need it. It is a better idea to go ahead and put the seats down first, I think. Now, let's go ahead and pull this one out of there like so. Then we're going to go ahead and pull the seat forward and then pull up on the handle here and drop the seat. Again, it's a little bit easier if you have the seat further up. Now we're going to take the center and of course they do correspond to where they're positioned to when they're in place. Go ahead and pop that down like so. Don't know if it really matters which way you do it. Let's try it the other way. I don't think it makes any difference. It's more out of the way, I think, if you do it this way. And the other one, we're going to do the same thing. Again, probably better this way in this case. Just like so. That's it. Pretty good way to stow everything so it's out of the way. I'm guessing there's a lot of people, well, there's probably a few people who didn't know what those slots are for, but there's probably a lot of people that just pull these off and then throw them somewhere probably down underneath when they put the seats down. Problem with doing that is they get dirty. If you've got a nasty area down below there where you put your feet, you don't want to throw your headrest down there, do you? So now you have a whole open area here, storage back behind. I've got a little air compressor kind of thing, some other stuff, first aid stuff over there, um, and a couple of hooks, not many, but a couple where you could hang bags if you wanted to. That's how you do it, of course, removing it, or putting it back up, I should say. You just simply want to do everything opposite. All right, the second one, and this is where I was probably a little bit remiss. Well, I definitely was, because I didn't really show it. 
And that is, how does the tonneau cover open, or how far does it open, with the sport bar up there? The sport bar, of course, is designed to have this tonneau cover on it. You can slip it up underneath. Uh, it works really well. Uh, this particular tonneau, which is from Tiger, the same people that I got the sport bar from, was suggested by them for their sport bar. So that's primarily why I used it, although I've had this before, this brand, and they've always worked really well. So to open it, pretty simple. You want to pop the hood, or the tailgate in this case. Right under here, and you probably can't see it, there are two screws, like uh, clamps, if you will. You kind of want to just pull those up, and then you'll have the ability to lift the top or the tonneau. So we're going to do that. This one wants to go back on. It likes it in there so much. You just want to pull it up like so and let it drop down. Now, this is where the issue comes, I guess, as far as full accessibility to having that top open. You can see I've opened it one spot here or one panel. And that panel then kind of hits the uh, sport bar here. And this is where the problem is. Now, you could adjust the top, the cover, the tonneau, a little bit more forward, or backward, I guess, so that this clears the bracket here. You could also move the sport bar a little bit forward. I actually have mine in just the wrong spot so that it won't function the way that it really should, because you should be able to open this thing one more time up against the sport bar if you will in other words you should be able to pull it up like so and I can't do that it's going to bind now let's move this forward and if I tried to do it uh, even with it out of the way like so you'll notice it hits so I'm not real sure uh, it's really close that you'd be able to open the tonneau any further than what I have it right here Something to be aware of. If you need constant access to your bed, in other words, the tonneau cover not in the way, eh, the sport bar tonneau com combo might not be the way to go. For me, it doesn't really matter. I've got the Jeep out there. I can pull that one all the way up and have full access to the bed if I want. So for the Tacoma, it's not a big deal. Now, one other thing I want to mention in here, I have the bed extender. Now, to do the extender or use it properly, you would need to pull it forward. And you can see it does clear the tonneau cover. So I could utilize the extender if I wanted to with the tonneau on, not a big deal. Just something to be aware of. Eh, not that big a deal to me. Now, one other thing I wanted to look at real quick underneath the bed, let's see if I can get you guys a good angle under there, looking for water. We haven't had any rain, just condensation at night, and you know, that can get pretty thick and will run. You can see my bed is bone dry under here, no issues with any water, just from condensation at night. And yes, I do need to get a bed mat in here. Not sure why I haven't done that yet. That's something I will be purchasing. Anyway, just wanted to kind of answer a couple of questions, requests I've had on the channel about the functionality of the tonneau. Again, if you need full access to your bed, who wants to screw around taking a tonneau off and on? I mean, it could be done. I could get under there, pull it completely out, and have full access. Frankly, I wouldn't screw with it. If it is something that you're going to use consistently, the bed that is, and the tonneau's in the way, why make your life more difficult, you know? Otherwise, I love the look, and I think you have to have a tonneau cover on with this sport bar just to make it look really good. The seats, you saw how that works, pretty simple. Leave a comment, let me know. Is that a problem? Would you shy away from this setup because you cannot open the tonneau really any further than once? I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.